Hey, this is Dr. John again with the Healthy MD talking to you today a little bit about my story and really kind of explain where I'm coming from, how I got into being a, a low carb enthusiast and recommending it for my patients. So you know, might as well just start from the, from the beginning because that's always the best place to start the story. So I think for me, I had always been into some type of fitness. Uh, growing up, played a lot of sports, uh, off in college, played a lot of club teams. After college, started doing triathlons and really got into that. Actually, even got up to doing Ironman distance uh, triathlons at, at one point. Uh, even competed in uh, Kona. Uh, although I will disclose it was a lottery spot, not a qualifier, but still was very cool to race world championships for Ironman distance triathlons. But then I think, you know, like the rest of us have all gone through, life happens. And fitness, for whatever reason, did not become a priority for myself. And I started putting the weight on slowly, but every year, five pounds, 10 pounds, and then all of a sudden one day, I woke up and I was fat. No other way to put it. Um, and it was a, a really painful thing for me to, to really acknowledge. Uh, here I was, a you know, sports medicine doc, working with elite athletes, working with weekend warriors, uh, and then also family practice doc, and trying to counsel patients on weight loss. And here I am, the, the fat doctor. And it really took my the death of my dad and the break of my marriage really uh, shake me up where I got to the point that I need to do something about it. There's something about, you know, when you're driving to the airport to go to your father's funeral and you have to stop at the men's store to get a new pair of dress pants because the dress pants you pulled out of the closet don't fit. That was a little embarrassing. And then looking at pictures, you know, from the funeral as well too. Looking at, you know, how I looked standing next to my two brothers and, you know, just big belly seat. Um, sticking out and just not being healthy and realizing I was not setting an example that I wanted to set for my patients. So I came home, decided, hey, I really need to kind of get back into my fitness um, regimen. Really needed to kind of think what I was doing from the diet uh, aspect as well, too. And I had kind of dabbled in keto, uh, low carb diets in the past. Nothing really serious, never really stuck with it, but you know, for whatever re reason, this time it really at home with me and really kind of followed a, a really strict ketogenic diet. So it was really every day uh, under 30 uh, grams of carbohydrates a day uh, was hitting my protein macros. So for me, weighing in about 260 pounds was focused on more of probably about 250 grams of protein a day. And then the rest of my calories, you know, healthy fats. Uh, but I also made a uh, change where instead of doing endurance exercise, I went into the gym, so I started lifting weights. And not only did I just lift weights, I lifted heavy. So really focused on you know lifting you know between four to eight reps at a time, um, four to four to five sets. So really focused on lifting heavy. And by lifting heavy, I mean you know something that you can lift maybe four to eight times. So not the typical ten to twelve times that a lot of folks will do, or even the higher reps that we'll see a lot of women do in the gym. So, you know, three three sets of working hard on that. You know, my workouts really weren't any longer than 45 minutes at a time. I didn't do a lot of cardio either. Um, I think maybe 30 minutes, maybe two or three times a week, and it was a slow jog. We do fasted cardio in the morning. And then even after I got um, kind of set up with that, really wouldn't do much more than that. But what I found is not only was I losing weight, I was losing fat and putting on muscle at the same time. And I think that's something that we don't really talk about. Is it possible to put on muscle on a ketogenic diet while you're losing weight? And there's a lot of misinformation out there that says you just can't do it. Well, I'm proof that you can. I'm going to show you uh, how I did it. And it's no you know, secret sauce. It's nothing magical. I didn't, you know, wasn't taking any, really any extra supplements from, except maybe for like a whey protein shake in the morning but it was just really what it was was consistency so you definitely can put on muscle with a ketogenic diet and that's something that I did and you'll see and I'll show you my before and after photos I did a pretty damn amazing job with it I was really happy with it so over 12 months I went from 260 plus pounds to about 190 188 I actually competed in a physique show so men's physique show uh, kind of the intro for bodybuilding so I made a pretty big physical transformation. I went from 260 pounds all the way down to 185 pounds where I competed at a physique, men's physique show the next summer. And 
the really cool part about it wasn't the fact that I was getting back in shape or the fact that I was losing all this weight, putting on muscle. It was that I was actually documenting my, my weight loss journey or my fitness journey, or my return to health, or what I call it my, my F and got fat journey. And so I was posting this on social media, and it was really, the real reason I did it originally was more for accountability, to kind of make sure I was following through. But kind of the unintended consequence of it is I had other people reaching out to me, friends of mine on, on Facebook saying, hey, Dr. John, you know, it's great you're doing this. And you know what, I looked in the mirror myself and I realized, hey, I, I've gotten out of shape and I'm starting back on my fitness journey, my health journey as well too. So I think to me, that was actually one of the coolest things that I saw was really kind of empowering you know, others to kind of take control or take back their, their health and, and their fitness. So for me, and I think that's really the, the big, um, big focus of the Healthy MD is how do we help folks like that? So I'm going to kind of walk you through what I did for my, my weight loss, my fitness journey, so show you some of the before and after pictures, and those will kind of pop up right now. And then, and this is me back in 2001 when I was still doing triathlons. Uh, this is me uh, with my dad right before, I think this is actually like Ironman Lake Placid, New York. So you can see, you know, looking pretty thin, pretty fit, but you know, more of that endurance athlete type of look, uh, doing a lot of uh, cardio, no weights. Uh, I think actually I was still vegan at that point too, so probably not a lot of protein as well too. And then this is me actually racing in um, Hawaii, so Ironman, Kona, the world championship, coming down to Leahy Drive, uh, feeling pretty good. Hey, quads actually look pretty strong, but that was a lot of time on the bike, so you know that all paid off. Uh, don't think I was vegan at that point, but still probably not doing too much in the way of, um, you know, pretty much still like high carb and, and, and low fat. Um, but yeah, worked out pretty well for me uh, overall. And here's what I looked like in 2018 when I was at my dad's funeral. And th this is me wearing those pants. I think it was a 40 inch waist that I had to go buy on the way to my dad's funeral. Uh, definitely not the same guy that had actually done Ironman. So huh, you can see the, the, the fit, the fat part of me. And here I am just three months later after my dad's funeral. So this was September of 2018 uh, in the gym. This is my first ever gym selfie where I actually felt comfortable enough to actually take a picture of myself in the gym. And you'll, if you look at my, uh, my body stats, because I was doing DEXA scans, look at body fat content. Uh, while I was doing this. So I lost 14 pounds of body weight, but what was really interesting to me was that I lost 21 pounds of body fat while still putting on seven pounds of muscle. And that was while, you know, following a really strict ketogenic diet. Again, this was lifting heavy weights, uh, doing just a little bit of cardio, and look at the difference. I mean, those are much bigger biceps than what I had when I was, you know, doing triathlons or, or you know, any of the stuff I had before. So I was pretty happy with, you know, kind of my body transformation with that. And again, you know, all it was was kind of following my macros, you know, un eating like under 30 grams of, of uh, carbohydrates a day, making sure I was getting enough protein, which for me was about 220 grams of protein a day. And then the rest of it was fat. And I pretty much ate till I felt you know, didn't feel hungry. And that was a great thing that I noticed for me as being on this low carb diet is I wasn't that hungry that much. So probably at around 22, 2,500 calories at this point. You know, and here I am, uh, actually this is me posing, doing my photos for my uh, fitness shoot during my fitness physique uh, competition. And this is actually like literally a year later after I had started my weight loss journey, so going back to a year after my dad died. So you can totally see the total transformation with that. So it's totally possible, and that's what I'm going to help folks do with the Healthy MD. So I just want to thank you for watching the video. Hopefully it was very helpful. Got a little bit of tips, a little bit of insight of who I am as, as far as the Healthy MD and what we're trying to do here. If you like what we did, you know, make sure you hit the like button on the video. And obviously the same thing, subscribe to the channel so that, that way when we drop new videos, you know, we're going to be covering a lot of content over the next several months uh, to the next year to really help folks with their health. So stand by, 
hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks again. I'm Dr. John with the Healthy MD.